Excellency, we know that by the time you are done with Enugu State, all the naysayers will start saying the different thing. On our part as the council, we are going to give the contractors and all those that are going to handle this project all the maximum support to make sure that these projects are completed in record time. His Excellency, on behalf of Fellow Test Association Company, we say thank you for giving us this opportunity to consider us worthy to be part of your development plan for the great people of Enugu State. Your Excellency, we promise to do our best by giving the good people of Enugu State a, quali a high quality job with the best indigenous parties and also to deliver on time. We are very glad that a person with the strength of character you have is in charge. We are delightful to see you champion a new Enugu state. We have never encountered any governor since 1999 like Peter Mbak. I have to tell the truth. These localities are agrarian communities. So by this road, by the time it will come to the finishing end, it will be very, very easy for those women so it will be very, very easy for them to transport their agro products to the urban areas. Thank you for urbanizing the whole of Enugu State. We believe in you. You have proven to us that you are a true leader. You are a visionary leader. You are a leader with disruptive innovation. I believe it is in our DNA to do projects. We are not surprised that we are doing this uh, project. We know you very well. What we are doing is not politics. What we are doing is economy. We are bringing back the economic glory of Enugu State. And during politics, I know that all of us will play politics. So as always, you are the man who sees the future. You have already seen what this corridor, this is an economic powerhouse corridor. We have MBL here. At the other end of this road is Wilito Adan, Adarise, where it terminates at uh, Umlopa. It is less than 1.2 kilometers to be into Anambra State. So I know you are deliberate in most of the things you do, but most of all, it's for the love of the people. That's what I've noticed. I am very delighted to be here again on this uh, occasion of the flag of, of the 44.8 kilometer road that would traverse three local governments. It would go through Udi, Eziago, and uh, Ozowani. I know what most of you are seeing essentially would be line of uh, Ashford, and I can see the joy and the cheers on your faces. I'm also quite happy, but for me, I see beyond uh, Ashford. What I see when I do this flag of or when I go for this commissioning, is that I see the $30 billion. So where you're seeing lines of asphalt, I am seeing $30 billion. I'm also seeing the eradication of poverty. I am seeing an enhanced human welfare, enhanced human capital enhance human development. And that is essentially what paved roads do for us. Beyond the seamless movement of people and goods, is it acts as a powerful force for economic growth. And so what we're doing in Enugu State in terms of infrastructure development is quite intentional. 
As you heard already, yesterday we were at Opintsuka to flag off again another very critical and strategic road for us. We understand that if we must build our economy to the level we are proposing, $30 billion, we must not leave any part of this state behind. That growth is going to come from the peripheral. It's going to come across each local government. We're going to have our local government as major economic hubs. And in order for us to do that successfully, we must provide easy access. And that's essentially what we're here to do, the ease of movement of our produce, the ease of movement of our people, the ease of movement of goods. So what we're trying to accomplish here is to build a ring road across the state. So what you have now is running from Ama, taking you to Omoloba, but we would also take you to Adani and connect you to Nsoka. That road is already being awarded, it's going to be done. So what you essentially have is a circle which you can travel in less than one hour. You would be able to go from east to west and then to north. And that way we can open up a lot of economic activities. And also, of course, you know our people are farmers. And we're right now trying to scale our agriculture to an industrial level. And in order to do that, we must have zero tolerance to post-harvest losses. And so the only thing that helps us solve that is making sure that we have access to our farmland. And that's essentially what we're doing. This is actually symbolic. It's symbolic because if we begin to go to flag off or break the ground of the roads we have approved for construction in Enugu West alone, you know we will do no other work because every day we will be flagging off. So we just go to each zone and flag off a symbolic road just as a symbol but it's not a reflection of the roads we're doing. As the commissioner had mentioned, we have over 100 kilometers of road captured in the west that we're constructing. And that costs across different uh, local government. There is no local government that is left behind. Ogo, Aninri, Oji River, Iziago, Udi, we, they're all covered in our plan. The approval we already got to essentially build our roads. So this is again, as I said, just symbolic because there are a whole lot that you haven't seen yet. So if you're happy that we're doing this 44.8 kilometer road, the Americans will say you ain't seen nothing because there are quite a whole lot. But we cannot, as I said, go every day to do flag off. We are also very mindful of time. So when we award contracts, we are quite focused on timelines and cost. So as you have already heard, in three months, we're back here to cut the ribbon and to commission this road. This is not going to take us more than three months.